Okay. Hey. Hi, guys. A uh, very good evening to one and all. Uh, so we begin the third talk in the indie session today at IGDC 2021. Uh, today we have yet another special guest with us, Avid Vivedi. Uh, a short introduction about Avid Vivedi I'll give. Avid Vivedi is the founder of Extended Reality Developers of India, also known as XRDI, uh, wherein they are working towards the goal of XR, AR, VR technology, democratization, and uh, education through his community podcast, networking platform, and ground level sem seminars, as well as workshops in major Indian universities, including IITs, IIMs, and communities like GS, GDG, and IEEE. XRDI is India's biggest XR community, and uh, they are a non profit organization. Uh, they have conducted events in 15 plus universities. 10,000 plus students have uh, benefited from their webinars, live events so far. And they aim to, uh, they're aiming at a technological growth of India. They have 72 active volunteers all over India powering value ven valued ventures by the community. XRDI community is building an open source metaverse and a job portal to connect the XR industry to students seeking to get started. Uh, so, guys, before I begin the talk, uh, there is a feedback form that will be passed on in the handout section. So, uh, what whatever your feedback is with regards to this session, please feel free to write down that feedback in the handout session. And today, Avi will be presenting a talk on mathematics for game developers. Before we uh, hand it over to Avi, I would officially like to uh, thank our sponsors. The presenting sponsor for this event is Unreal Engine. The gold sponsors for this event are MPL, AWS, Glance, and Jungly. Uh, we would also like to thank the legacy silver sponsors that is Gameshen, Luxia, and Yes Noam. Uh, bronze sponsors, Quali and Gameon Studios. Hyper Casual Track sponsors, Sunday. IP Connect sponsors, Succeed Innovation Fund. So, with that introduction, I will leave the stage to you. Avi, the stage is yours. All the best for your ta uh, talk, and we hope to learn a lot from you. Thank you so much, Nikhil, for such a beautiful introduction. And yeah. Let's start with this conversation about game development. So uh, whenever we are developing game, we came across a lot of mathematics and this mathematics get very, very tricky, very, very fast, right? So I'll go over the fundamentals. 30 minutes is quite a less time to cover it, but here I'm sharing my iPad screen so that you guys can cover up, right? Uh, for some reason, it looks like no, it is fine. It is fine on my end. It should be fine on your end as well. It should be the correct way up. I'm not sure uh, this is looking the wrong way. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, maybe maybe for you guys, this is the correct way up. In my screen, it is the wrong way. Let me know if, if uh, on your screen as well, it is the wrong way up. Okay, so let me start by creating a triangle first, right? Because when you are working in game development you have to love triangles right so i have created a triangle let's put the sides uh, let's call it right let's call it a b and c all right so let's start with funda uh, very fundamentals we'll start with something called pythagoras theorem right Right. So what is Pythagoras theorem? Everybody knows it is very simple. So Pythagoras said that C square, which is you can see C is here, is equal to A square plus B square. Okay, my iPad is going crazy for some reason. All right, awesome. B square. All right. So if uh, I, I uh, now I, that's how I can calculate C. So C is going to be A square plus B square, All right? So this is how you can uh, do a Pythagoras theorem. But when you have to do this very same theorem in mathematics, in game of mathematics, you do it in a different way because mathematics, we are working with coordinates. Let's assume coordinates for this same triangle, all right? So here we go, the same triangle, all right? So now this triangle is on our x and y axis so you can say it is like this all right so ignore this line okay so c we have to figure out as always we have a and b so here this point this point and this point we have these three points so let's let's uh, call this point 
this fundamental point uh, the the beginning point if i go it here uh, x comma y or let's say x1 y1 and this point is called let's say x2 comma y2 all right so we have to figure out what is x2 y2 okay in this uh, particular uh, idea right so let's first design uh, let's first decide what is if we have two points like this point and this point which is the original point and then the very first point and then we have to calculate how far the this particular the second point is from my distance because in mathematics you have to calculate distance all the time right so uh, let's do this How we gonna do it is basically we have to first define a in the point terms so right now a is not in the point term but if you see this a is actually this very axis which is equal to the x all right and uh, the the point of b uh, is is equal to this very axis which is y so in this case if i have to basically define what is a and uh, y so it's going to be a equal to y2 minus y1 all right so wh whatever the y axis are so y2 minus y1 you get this particular y length all right correct y length for this and then comma if i have to define b then what is it y x2 minus x1 so that's how we define the b right so this is the x line y2 minus y1 and this is just the, uh, the, the the b line all right now if i have to define c here uh, the very length of c in this case the c is going to be uh, again same formula from the pythagoras theorem let's call it this way y2 upon y1 Oh, sorry, uh, this is going to be not this way. Yeah, this is going to be again this way, y2 minus y1 whole square. C square is going to be y2 minus y1 whole square. And then, hold on, plus x2 minus x1 whole square all right so which means uh, if we have to uh, this is going to be c square all right uh, why this is happening my ipad is not taking for some reason the palm detection right so if we uh, calculate for c it is just going to be this very variable which is going to be y square minus uh, y1 whole square, right? Plus this whole term into square roots. Okay, this is giving me a lot of trouble for some reason. x2 minus x1 square all right so this is how you basically calculate the distances between point a to point b when it comes to uh, the game the mathematics but uh, there is one problem just one problem that these functions like squares and these functions like square roots all of these functions are expensive when it comes to games right and especially these sort of calculations are happening uh, in each frame. So that's why you have to optimize this particular calculation. And the better way to do it for game developers is going to be very different. So if we do it for game developers, I would suggest using something called vectors. So we first understood what is Pythagoras. The second we are going to talk about uh, something called vectors. right so what are vectors now 
okay we will dive into vectors so vectors are something which are uh, it's not standard vector standard vector in physics are different things than this uh, don't uh, use it like this vectors you can assume vectors a way to store values a way to store uh, uh, all the values are uh, multi dimensional values so let's say if there is one value we call it scalar if there is more than one values then it is called vector and vectors are just a way of arrangement and way of storage of that values but uh, this particular way it give us a lot of advantages especially in mathematics uh, when we are uh, working on the game dev maths so vectors are denoted by this particular symbol this arrow symbol on top of this right and vectors contain two things uh, about uh, some property there is one thing called direction and then there it it uh, contains something called magnitude which is basically the distance or the length of this particular vector right and uh, so this is called vector right but when uh, it is uh, talking about the magnitude then it is called it is denoted as this symbol magnitude and when the vectors are uh, uh, let me put the ipad differently so that i can work better all right so that i can look and work right okay and then when we are uh, working on the third part uh, let's say if we are interested in not vectors if we are interested in directions then the directions are denoted by this symbol and it is called direction much much better all right so okay so this is what vector is but what vector is exactly and how it is calculated so again we are uh, going to do the same thing uh, this uh, vector distances and addition and all these sort of things right there is a special reason why vectors are used and that special reason you will understand if we draw this sort of point all right so there is a point now uh, i need to know that uh, how far is if i have to tell that how far is this point from the origin uh, so vector is basically giving me this information that how far this x comma y point is all right this p point which coordinates are x comma y is from origin so vector is this vector v is p comma y from x and uh, uh, x and y uh, sorry origin 0 0 origin right and how do we donate uh, sorry denote this is basically uh, okay so this much is in y and this much is in x all right so that's how we know that uh, x and y the coordinates right and if we go uh, talking about uh, uh, vectors and and directions more so uh, what we can talk more about this is basically how you uh, uh, vectors are basically telling us two things uh, that where right uh, where means direction and how far tick or how much uh, which means uh, the distance all right so if i talk about if i denote this uh, vector uh, there is one more way to de uh, denote vectors which is like comes very handy vectors 2d vectors are denoted like this x comma y these are 2d and the 3d vectors are denoted exactly like uh, these x y and z now why do we exactly use vectors and what advantage we have when we are using vectors over these uh, uh, normal point-to-point uh, -point calculations so vectors give us a lot of advantage i would say uh, and uh, the, the advantages starts from all all kind of places so let, let's uh, talk about this exactly all right so let's talk about hmm. let's say you have a point one like earlier vector one all right and then you add in a vector two right let me change color for vector two yeah this is vector two all right then yeah vector two and then we have something called vector three let me make it red 
and that goes somewhere here okay uh let me make it correct that goes somewhere like here all right and let's call it vector three and then we have one more vector let's call vector four and that is a small uh, that is a small vector and we call it vector four v4 all right all of these are vectors okay so this is the final point now you have to uh, let's say compute that what is this final location because we traveled here 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 now we have to calculate right so if we go this method earlier method it is going to take a long calculation if we go the newer method it is going to take a much more shorter route okay so what is this shorter route uh, let's uh, just uh, look at right so let's say if we have to calculate uh, all these uh, vectors all right so i'm going to do my vector 1 plus vector 2 plus vector 3 plus vector 4 all right so uh, to do that uh, to do this calculations what i have to do is basically the x component y component plus x uh, let's say x2 y2 all right plus x3 y3 all right and then x4 y4 all right these are not in divide these are a way to denotes vector and finally the final result is uh, let me uh, there is a stroke uh, right the final result is in uh, basically uh, something new so x uh, r y r x result y result and this x r y r is basically a vector from this origin to here okay so this is vector uh, x r sorry v r right so we can call it vector v r and this is from here to here the end product is fine so this is giving me basically if we add all of this the x component of this to x component of all other vectors this is going to give me the finally resultant vector which is going to be from the origin to the end point from the origin to the end point right so this is a beautiful trick this works with uh, uh, let's say minus this works with plus this works with all sort of things then there is one more thing you need to know about vectors if you are talking about vectors there's one beautiful thing which comes really handy and that is let me draw it here that is uh let me increase the size of uh, my tool yeah yeah okay so there's something called unit vector all right so what is a unit vector all right so let's say if we draw this point again this is a, the same point all right so unit vector is basically the idea that okay uh, this point let's say is at uh, x10 and y10 x comma 10 and y comma 10 all right so okay this uh the, the very length of this vector is uh basically 10 okay it's not at x10 y10 let's say the length is 10 okay the point distance from the origin is 10 okay uh, now unit vectors are those vectors uh, whose distance is just one okay just one uh, so if you get the vector with the distance one that is called unit vector so it uh, what is the cool thing about unit vector it loses all the direction component but it, it still is has question picked by host okay i'll i'll come to the questions after completing this because we have a uh, very less time uh, to complete uh, all of it right so most of it right so uh, when we are talking about uh, this unit vector and this comes really handy in a lot of cases right what what could be the use cases for unit vector let's say you have to move uh, three there are three cars and you want uh, a car to move uniformly in that condition you provide a direction times a speed 
right so in the direction component if that direction component does not have a unit vector if it has any other magnitude than one then the, the, the same speed applied to these uh, directional components is going to behave that differently. The resultant is going to be somewhere very different. Okay, so this these so in so these sort of scenario, like you have to scale to multiple times or something, uh, or you have to pro uh, do a uniform calculation. In that cases, uh, these sort of vector unit vectors are comes really handy. There are so many cool things about unit vector which you need to know. Uh, but I'm going to skip mostly. Unit vectors are denoted by uh, this symbol. Sorry, yeah. Unit vectors are denoted by this symbol. As I said, uh, this contains only the direction. So as you know, these are the unit vectors because it is containing only direction. The vectors which are containing only magnitude are denoted as uh, this absolute vectors, right? So I hope that gives you some sort of idea about vectors so uh, unit vectors if i talk more about so if you uh, take this example let's say draw a line here so as you can see now these is just a pythagoras theorem which means we can apply uh, the v, the pythagoras equation to calculate unit vectors uh, similarly right and what was that is basically x square plus y square so whatever the x square and y square is that is basically uh, calculated. That's how you calculate the distance of this particular uh, vector, right? The 10, but the 10 is already given. But when you collect the, the um, sorry, yeah. One more thing, where is the rubber? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. okay, delete. Okay, all right. What else it has deleted? Okay, no worries. No, nothing else deleted. Everything is fine. And okay, so when we are talking about this, uh, we are talking about that. That is how you got the distance. And if you have to convert the distance into the unit vector, the formula is x upon the unit vector. Uh, sorry, the distance vector, absolute vector, comma y upon the absolute vector right and again select this delete this all right yeah so this is uh, basically the formula to get to the this vector and this vector so this is direction and this is uh, sorry this is direction and this is uh, distance so that's how you basically work with vectors uh, now let me come to one more concept which is super super important when it comes to uh, game dev maths and that concept is uh, none other than uh, angles so let's come to angles so let me start writing here this is the third thing which we are going to take a look into angles all right so uh, talking about angles uh, there are all sort of angle sort of calculation which you can do so since we have a point here all right and we can make this a triangle all right but we need to calculate this angle called theta theta are better way our uh, mathematical way of representing or telling us that okay we are talking about some sort of angle all right okay let me just okay So we need to calculate this angle. In this case, this is going to be something called hypotenuse. This is going to be something called base. And this is going to be something called perpendicular. All right. Uh, so there is one more uh, notation which you can learn, you, which you might have heard of, in which this is called the opposite side, opposite side to this angle, or obviously, right? And this is called the adjacent side, which means it's, it's uh, adjacent to the angles, right? Uh, and this is hypotenuse is hypotenuse. So there are two fundamental formulas when we are talking about uh, trigonometry, uh, which everybody uh, might have heard of or remembered of. One is called Sokatoa. So, so, and then Ka and Toa. And the other way, the Indian way, uh, I remember this is called something called uh, Pandit 
Badri Prasad and then Har uh, okay Har Bole okay so English may Sukatova Hindi may Pandit Badri Prasad Har Har Bole it means the same thing these are the same formulas so as I, as I denoted as P as well as O and B as well as O okay what does it really mean it really means when we are talking about the sign the uh, this uh, opposite side upon uh, this hypotenuse then we are talking about uh, C, uh, cosec sine sorry cos then it's going to be adjacent side upon hypotenuse and we are talking about the tan it's going to be opposite side upon uh, adjacent side all right similarly in here so when we are talking about sine cosec uh, sorry cos and then uh, finally if we are if we are talking about uh, what is happening yeah now it is good sine cos tan okay so this is uh, basically what we need uh, for now uh, this only thing to remember or say uh, why uh, it needs to be remember is uh, I'll, I'll come to that uh, but i think there is a uh, very less time for that i have 10 minutes to cover angles let's see if we can go to dot product and cross product in less time so let's go to tan all right tan is basically uh, uh, when we are talking about angles so in this case what we know what we know is basically how much it is from this distance how much it is from this distance which means the x and y point we know one thing only which is point which means we know the x and y coordinates of that particular point all right so when we know these two things and then we, we need to find angle there is one way to talk about and that is tan because this talks about the p and the b and the p and the b are the given information this is why we are using the tan okay so uh, let's uh, p upon b okay and uh, this is also going to be uh, you can call it p upon b and uh, when we fill in the value uh, this is also going to be uh, going to convert in so the, the the theta itself is going to be uh, op, uh, the the theta then is going to going to convert in uh, tan inverse because here tan theta tan theta means the value of theta is uh, the the tan value of this particular angle is going to be this upon this but the angle value of this is going to be tan inverse of this upon this tan inverse of this upon this and what is this upon this is basically just uh, tan inverse y upon x because what is the, uh, the the perpendicular value is y is equivalent to y height right and the, the this value is going to be the width which is in the x direction in the x axis so this is basically what gives us all sort of calculations which are required to calculate angles okay let me come to that. Uh, let me come to uh, uh, simplify it for more for you. Okay. So we don't use tan inverse in gaming. We don't have tan uh, tan inverse. Instead, we use something called a tan. Okay. So instead of tan inverse, we use a tan y comma x in gaming notations because y upon x is y comma x. Uh, if but this is a very unsafe way of using it. So let's say if somebody put a value of uh, zero in form of x then then this will broke uh, your code the safe way of doing this is theta equal to uh, a tan 2 so there are all uh, the gaming platforms uh, they provide this particular uh, function called a tan 2 it does all the safety checks and then y comma x so that is how you calculate angles but uh, let me talk more about uh, something uh, called this thing uh the the this is something called radians right so let's say this is x-axis and this is of course the y-axis and here is a zero degree wait okay here uh let me here is zero degree okay so in in uh game development we work with uh not we don't work with uh uh, the the angles we would like to work with a pi and something called radians so what is radians and how this works so right so let me draw a circle here this is circle this radius is basically equivalent to one 
and this uh, since uh, the this kind of vector with the radius one is known as unit vector so this circle is known as unit circle all right here we have 90 degree which is converted into uh, you can also call it you can also call zero degree into uh, zero pi and this is going to be pi upon two here is 180 degree 180 which translates into uh, pi complete pi right and here is 270 degree which translates into 3 upon 2 pi all right so this uh, makes up the entire uh, uh, value and if you have to convert between these two uh, let's say if you want to convert between radian and uh, radian and degrees so if you have to get the radian value from and you have the degree value so degree value upon 180 times pi and if you have the radian value and no want to know the degree value so the degree value is going to be radian value times 180 upon pi all right so this is a cute simple formula i think a lot of you developers already must be using these sort of formulas when you are working in games right so uh, let me there is there is one more cute thing about uh, this which is going to blow a lot of minds so when we are to talking about uh, let's say let's say uh, let's say ma we make uh, this chart all right let's say we are making all right uh, i'm very bad at drawing all right so if we if we mark it minus 1 here and if sorry plus one here and let's mark it minus one here okay and uh, let me uh, pick a pencil color yeah let me pick the pencil color i know i have very less time left okay but i hope i'll be able to cover the, uh, the this uh, completely right so let's uh, let's make a sine wave and how the sine wave is made is uh, why all right okay so if we make a sine wave sine of theta right so sine theta goes to like somewhere like this this and this and then it goes further on all right and if we have to create the cause let me create the cause okay so when we are creating the cos theta so it starts with uh, one plus one positive one right and it goes uh, let's say minus one here because it goes uh, it, this is exactly minus one okay so the this goes to minus then plus then there here and then it goes further on all right so let me now use uh, these symbols here right mark with these some symbols so let me mark this as a zero degree all right sorry here zero degree then this is going to be 90 degree or you can also say pi by two degree and then here this angle is going to be 180 okay or you can call it complete pi and this is 270 right or you can call it 3 by 2 pi and this is finally here at this point is going to be a complete 360 or 2 pi all right so, uh, in the cosec uh, this is a uh, for the sign the cosec it is inverse of that so you got it but when you when you when we when we gonna talk about this particular unit circle the similarity you will see is that one comma zero all right so if we are talking about this uh one comma zero is here this point is basically zero comma one this point is basically minus one comma zero and the final point is basically zero minus one all right so these are uh, our coordinate points and if you match them you'll find out uh, as you move your unit circle radian from here to here this uh, x so if i talk about this cos theta and 
sin theta. Okay, so the x is responding exactly to the cos theta and the y is responding exactly to the sin theta. All right, so this is why, uh, this is how the vector way of representing uh, basically how the angles works. All right, so uh, this is uh, basically it, what we have time to cover in this particular section. I have completed 30 minutes. Thank you so much, Avi. And uh, you know, it was it was surely intense and definitely brought back some nostalgia, especially that uh, you know, uh, I again forgot the term. Har har bole, patit patit bole. Yeah, that surely brought back some nostalgia, and it actually I think gave the audience a glimpse of uh, you know, uh, the, like the maths for games is so vast and uh, can't really be learnt in just half an hour. Yeah. But, yeah you know, they were, they were definitely benefited with this. Uh, we are already over time, but we can, I think, pick up a few questions. I will just narrate the questions for you. So the first one came towards the start of the session and it uh, says uh, how we can determine the direction of point in vector. So direction of point in vector is exactly as I said, you, you calculate the vector, right? And the way you calculate, I showed you how you calculate the vector, right? Okay, the vector is basically the x and y point. This is basically giving you from the origin to the distances to that particular point. How you calculate just the direction? Uh, firstly, it already has the direction from the origin, right? Secondly, if you want just the direction, right, you have to ignore that particular part. So you have to first calculate the magnitude of that particular vector and then divide uh, the x and y component to that magnitude. Right, take your x and component and divide by the whatever the distance, the length of the, your vector is. Right, so uh, let's say if you want the direction, just the direction, which is uh, also known as a unit uh, vector. So in that case, uh, take the, uh, the the direction, uh, sorry, vector dot magnitude, and then uh, x and y go say divide kar dena. It's just very simple. All right, thanks for answering that. The next question is, uh, can you suggest some resources or videos for learning maths for programming? Yeah. And I think this so, is a similar question has come from two, two people in the audience. Yeah, yep. So uh, actually, uh, the, the things I wanted to cover, uh, I have written here. Uh, it, it is uh, uh, also written a dot product and then the cross product, which are the better way to do it after that. But we have, we don't have time for that. I will definitely do a, a complete series on this, uh, the game mathematics, uh, which is coming to a channel called How to XR. Uh, I'm someone who is working in uh, virtual reality and augmented field uh, reality field for past eight years. We have uh, 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 another channel and another community called XRDI. So there are a lot of references, but I want to go more into the technical way uh, in XRDI. I'm talking more on the theory part. So to talk about more practical and uh, way, we have created X, how to XR, where you're gonna learn more, uh, the, the entire series is coming there, right? So that will be a very good resource to catch up. If you really want somebody really good, uh, there, uh, there is a friend of mine called Freya Holmer. You can definitely check her uh, creations. She create a lot of visual things uh, related to game dev mathematics and you will love it. So she created one cross product kind of thing. So in which uh, she completely shows that when the angle between two vectors is decreases, the cross product angle, which is the, like like this component is uh, shifted down. And when it, it's completely aligned, the cross product, uh, the, the magnitude of cross product is zero. And then it reverses back as it as it as the angle closes like this. Right. So she completely showed this sort of scenario uh, with uh, her uh, Freya's. Yeah, Freya. So I also do a lot of podcasts. So we also did a podcast together. That is also really recommended. Uh, so yeah, check out XRDI. You guys will find a lot of good content. That's why I promise. And on how to XR, there's going to be a lot of uh, creative and complex mathematics and all sort of things. All right. Thank you for putting in all this effort, Avi, and thanks, audience, for sticking around. Uh, uh, if, if possible, Avi, maybe you know, just after ending this session, we can paste some relevant links to help the audience. The way, where definitely, they definitely, I'll do that. Yeah, definitely, yeah, I'll we'll, do we'll that. just do that after the session right away. Uh, guys, before we log out, please don't forget to provide feedback. That's hardly going to take 10, 20 seconds for you. Uh, the feedback links is, link is already there in the chat as well as the handouts. 
and uh, do join the next session as well that is about designing an interactive time loop narrative and it is by Louis Antonio and it's already started all right thanks everybody thanks you thank you once again Avi thank you thank you so much and thanks for hosting me I'll do the complete series uh, really soon thank you everyone all right we'll go backstage guys thank you thank you bye bye